What's up and welcome back, it's your Tech Edited here again. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you on how can you fix or address the problem wherein you get to experience a laggy camera or at least a stuttering experience when using your camera for photography or even while shooting videos. So I'll be guiding you step by step on how can you troubleshoot and easily fix this one. But before we start, just a short message from our sponsor. CDKoffers.com is an all-in-one website where you could buy licensed keys. Just simply look for whichever software games you're looking for. Click on the Buy Now button. You want to make it cheaper? Simply enter DUDE20 which is an exclusive discount code that will give you a 20% discount from your purchases. Then enter your payment details and you should immediately receive the key once the payment has been confirmed. After receiving the key, you can then activate your software or games instantly. Alright, we are now on to our smartphone right now. So the most obvious one is to first close everything. So go ahead and go to this app drawer and make sure to close all of your applications. And uh, it says here your device is now on its optimal condition. Usually we often forget that we have a lot of other applications running hence it might be consuming a lot of our system's resources. After doing that we can now go ahead and try our camera hopefully it would fix that particular issue but usually it's not the case so the next main reason why we might be experiencing this particular issue is that our system might already be running out of storage so we can go back to our settings right here and then look for the storage so in here you could basically check whether you are nearly already full then you need to already clean up and delete some files and videos on your smartphone as it might be the cause for that particular issue. If you are in the same situation as to what I am right now wherein I still have a plenty of storage space on my smartphone then we can already proceed to the next step which is to switch to the performance mode onto our smartphone. To do so we can now go back to the main settings right here if you've closed it already go back Back to the settings and you should open up the settings of your smartphone although take note that the interface might vary depending on the brand of your smartphone I'm using a Huawei right now but usually it looks nearly identical so going back let's now go ahead and scroll down until we see the battery go to this particular setting right here wherein you could see a lot of settings and as you can see and as you would have noticed I have the power saving mode currently turned on so we need to turn off this one since this would basically limit the performance of our smartphone to again conserve battery life. So once we disable the power saving mode, the next step is if you have this kind of feature such as the performance mode, we can actually turn on this particular feature. Although by turning on the performance mode, you'll basically consume much more than usual onto your battery life so you can need to only use this one in case you really need much of the performance capabilities of your smartphone so once we've turned on the performance mode we can now go back to our camera and we could go ahead and try and uh, test out our photo and video and again hopefully this would fix our particular issue right now if that still didn't work for you, we can go ahead and try another step which is to disable filters onto our camera app. In my case, I have right here this particular filter. It's called AI filter and as you can see, it turned off the AI camera off. So by turning off the AI camera feature, it will reduce the processing demand onto our smartphone. Hence, it should improve your performance when using the camera. Alright, after disabling all the filters, the AI camera effects on your smartphone or features, we can now go ahead and move to the next step which is to make sure to use the high efficiency mode. Go back to the settings of your camera and if you have this so-called efficient video format, you can opt to turn this one on but this will actually limit the playability of your videos across platforms especially on older systems. But I would normally suggest to turn this one on as it will conserve a lot of your system's storage space especially when you are recording recording videos. After that, we can now go ahead and go back and we can now go ahead and test if our video and photo are actually working much better now. 
So far, it already looks quite good for me, but can still do some steps in order to improve this one. We can now go back to the settings, and uh, as you can see right here, we could see here the frame rate. If I click this frame rate setting right here, it doesn't show me anything because based on the specifications of my smartphone, I am only limited to 30 frames per second or FPS on this particular video resolution. So if I were to switch the video resolution to a full screen or rather the 16 by 9 1080p video resolution as you can see it will offer me a different frame rate which is a 60 fps frame rate so if you have literally no idea about frame rates the higher the frame rate that you are shooting on especially on videos the smoother the video is so i'm gonna be setting this to 60 fps right there and we can now go back to the camera up and as you would have noticed there's already significant difference right there the video feels smoother and even the movement feels smoother overall although just take note that not all smartphone actually supports up to 60 frames per second so better check the specifications of your smartphone if you have already optimized and done the best settings for your camera and you're still experiencing that particular stuttering or lag issue when shooting videos and photos on your camera we're gonna go ahead and go to the next step we're gonna go back to the main menu and click on back onto the settings of our smartphone so in order for us to reset the settings of our camera back to the default settings, we can go ahead and scroll down until we see the apps and services setting right here. Usually it's called apps or apps and services on other Android control panel. We're going to go ahead and click on that one and go to the apps. We're going to be looking for the camera app. So we can see here the default camera app installed onto our system. We're going to go ahead and click on that one. And then we can now go to the storage. We can actually clear all the settings and configurations of our camera app by clearing the data and the cache to fully reset our camera back to the default settings. So we're going to be doing that one. And there we go. We're going to go back to our camera app. And as you would have noticed, it actually reset my camera back to the first time usage wherein it would show me guides on how to use the camera modes and uh, basically on how to navigate around the features of my camera. This actually fixed my issue before. So hopefully this would fix everything or at least fix the stuttering or lag issue on your smartphone and uh, also take note that all of the settings that we did a while ago will be returned back to its default settings so you can actually uh, change it back to the efficient video format as well as choose the highest frame rate available on your smartphone once done we can go back and as you would have noticed the performance of my camera is actually better than ever before so that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully any of those solutions or steps that I've shown you a while ago did work out for you and hopefully you're no longer experiencing that particular issue right now. If that worked out for you, I would appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button to get more tech stuff in the future. Again, it's your tech edit here. See you in my next tech videos.